Paracord wrapping your lever action firearm right now on Pirate Firearms and Reloading. Okay, folks, a um, little bit of a different video today. I just wanted to show you really quickly how I paracord wrap um, the lever loops on a lever action rifle. So this is my Citadel Levtac. Um, the full review is coming. Um, I know a few of you are really eager to, to see my final thoughts and I've had some really good feedback too um, and, and a few little problems you guys have encountered. Um, so firearm is unloaded and safe. So what I'm going to do is just use some green paracord here. I'm leaving the core in it, um, and just to start with, I have melted the ends as well, um, just to, to stop it fraying. Now, on a wooden stock lever gun, I tend to use leather, um, and I, I get a bit of leather and then stitch the leather together around the loop. Um, this is not really appropriate on a, on a gun like this, which has a, a modern fore end um, and so on, so I figured paracord would be the better way to go. Um, now, just a couple of points um, to note on this. This is the big loop lever, so it will require a little bit more. Um, I'm using the green mainly for a contrast here. Um, I may change it over to black later on, um, but if I was to wrap it in black now, you wouldn't be able to see it. Now, the one concern that I have with wrapping the lever is making sure the Cobra stitch doesn't slide up and down the lever. Um, because it's so rounded, it is liable to, to decide it's going to turn around the corner and then come up under the lever. Um, so what I've done, I've worked out, if I do my first loop here actually through the trigger guard, there's no way, because this is going to be nice and taut, that it's going to ever interfere with the operation of the trigger. Um, but for today, we're just going to use the green. So I'm going to make sure that's snug and it's definitely clear of any operation of the trigger. And so I'm just going to start with my Cobra stitch. Like that. And then over the top like that. And pull it down nice and snug. Right, so the trick when you're doing Cobra stitching is just do the opposite each time. So I'm going to feed that. Feed that over there like that, All right? And I'm going to come up from behind it, and then through the other side like that, and pull it tight. Now, the tighter you pull it, the nicer it will ultimately look. So, loop through, over the top, grab that one over there, feed it through the loop you've just created. Now, the key to this is whatever one is coming out on the top is the one that you're going to create the loop with next. So I'm going to run that over that side, I'm going to come over there and through there. Just like that. Now you can see that this loop here is on the top. So we're going to use that to create the loop through the back over there, around there, like that. Now the key, realistically, is to keep this as tight and as bunched up as possible. So keep forcing it down and locking it up each time you do it. So it's a really, really simple knot, but done nicely, it looks really good. So I won't bore you with this entire thing. I'll now speed this up and we'll come back when we're about to finish it off.
now I'm getting towards the end here, it gets a little bit more tricky. You just gotta watch that that tail end doesn't pop out as you're pulling the stitch through. So now probably the thing that I find most annoying about doing paracord wrap is finishing it. So I'm gonna see if I can get one more in here and I might be able to, yep. Just like that. Now realistically, I could have used a longer bit of paracord, had a bit more room, but I did actually unfortunately shortchange myself. Here's where things get a little interesting and you've got to decide in the way you want to finish this. I'm pretty happy with the way that's turned out. I probably could have had two or three more loops in there or stitches, um, but that'll do me for now. And I know it's not going to be sliding rearward because it's hooked around here, but it will also not be sliding forwards as well because that is obviously wrapped around this loop here. So it's secured in place. Now I could stretch this out and make it look a bit um, wider, but as you can see there, it's all sitting nice and evenly. So what I'm gonna do, bring that up. I've got my trusty rope knife here. I'm just gonna shave this fairly close. Um, this underside is gonna be a little bit more tricky to do on camera. Now the trick is you want to leave a little bit exposed like that. Now you've got a couple of options. Um, using a soldering iron works very nicely. Um, I'm just going to attempt the barbecue lighter trick here today. Uh, don't know how well this is going to go. Right, and when it's melting, I just put something metallic on it and flare it open. Now this one's gonna be a little bit more tricky, but we'll do it. Just a little bit of heat like that, and something metallic to smooth it off. Just like that. So there we go, folks. Paracord wrap for your tactical lever action rifle. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I release new videos every Friday, so hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on anything. See you in the next one.